Hey FLC, glad to be joining you today wherever you might be at. We're so excited also to be able to have uh, in-person services starting June 28th at 10 a.m. One service per Sunday at 10 a.m. It's going to be uh, really, really cool to be back together with each other physically. Um, even though there might be some, some limitations that we are abiding by and being careful with and using wisdom, uh, it's still going to be good to be together. You know, today I want to talk briefly about prayer. And it got me thinking about a couple of scriptures about prayer. You know, we're encouraged as believers and followers of, of Jesus Christ to pray. We love God, we serve Him, and we want to pray. He's the one who can change things. You know, Philippians 4, uh, verse 6, Paul talks to the Philippians about, uh, about prayer. And he tells them, uh, just before that, he says, hey, rejoice, rejoice. You know, um, I'll say it again, let your, rejoice and let your gentleness be evident to all. Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. So he calls the Philippians to present their requests to God. Those things that are a burden or, or those things that are good or whatever it is, we're, they're, they are to and we are to present our requests to God. Now, when? I got to thinking, well, when, when do we do that? It got me thinking about James chapter 5. In James chapter 5, verses, uh, starting in verse 13, he says this, If is any one of you in trouble, he should pray. Is anyone happy? Let him sing songs of praise. If you are sick, well, call the elders of the church to pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. You know, so if you're in trouble, if you're troubled, pray. If things are going really good and you're happy, well, sing songs of, of praise to him and lift up prayers of, of worship and praise. And, you know, if you're sick, well, gather some people around you to pray for you. That's always a good thing to do. This uh, next week, from June 22nd until the 28th, what we're going to be uh, asking you to do and we're going to be doing is praying uh, every night. And, and that is going to... Uh, our prayers are going to begin from the scripture that is in uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. And so what we're asking is every night at 714, we would all commit to praying at that exact moment. And, you know, it's not some special formula or anything like that. It's just getting God's people praying. And if we can pray at the same time, even better. Now, 2 Chronicles 714 is an interesting uh, verse, but what comes before it in the context of this portion of scripture is really interesting as well. You know, they just finished the uh, building the temple and and uh, dedicating the temple to God and and uh, in His worship and their sacrifices there to, that would be uh, worshiping Him. And so they're dedicating the temple. It's finished. They're excited. They're committing themselves to God. And and what's interesting is is chapter 7 verse 11 starts this portion where God commits himself to the people, where God commits himself to this place. And here's what he says. If you read through it, it's, it's really cool. He says, I've heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a temple for sacrifices. And he says, hey, when I shut up the heavens so that there's no rain or command locusts to devour the land or send a plague among my people, and you're thinking, whoa, what? And this is what he says. Here's how he's, what he says is supposed to be his response, like the response of his people are supposed to be this. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. You know, our land today needs healing. There's so much unrest going on. There's so much happening in our world today. And we as followers of Jesus need to pray. As people who love God and serve him, we need to be praying for our land, healing for our land in so many ways. And so if we will begin by humbling ourselves, getting down on our knees even, and praying to God fervently, right? Praying to him in such a way that, that it's powerful and meaningful and, and we're intent on what we want to see God do because he's the only one who can heal a land, right? And so I hope you'll join in with us uh, starting uh, June 22nd and going all the way through June 28th when we gather.
gather physically again. We hope you'll join in with that. Be looking for the prayer guide. Uh, it will be emailed to you. You may already have it. I don't know. It'll be emailed to you. It'll also be uh, on our website and, uh, and possibly on social media. So just be looking for it to get that prayer guide to take us through that week and be powerfully praying together. All right, Father, thank you for your goodness to us. Thank you that when we present our request to you, you hear us, Lord. And when we humble ourselves, it moves your heart, God. And so we are grateful that we can come and we can seek you and, and present our request to you. And Lord, we're just asking together that you would heal our land. And so we thank you and we lift up our praise to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.